physical properties. Today, we're on a super cool mission to discover things that are hard, soft, shiny, rough, light, and so much more. That's right. We're diving into the amazing world of physical traits of solid things all around us. So open your eyes, stretch out your hands, and get ready because science fun starts now. Look at these objects. What do you think these objects have in common? You're right. These are all solid materials with different textures, hardness, and flexibility. How do you think these objects differ from each other? You're right. These objects differ from one another because each one has unique physical properties. Rock is hard and rigid. Foil is shiny and flexible. Pillow is very soft and rubber is stretchy and flexible. What are physical properties? Physical properties are things we can see touch or feel about an object. This help us describe how something looks or feels without changing what it is. Here are some common physical properties. Hard, soft, rough, smooth, shiny, dull, heavy, light, flexible, and rigid. What are hard objects? Hard objects Keep their shape even when you press them. Cannot be easily bent or squeezed. Examples, block, rock, glass, bottle, hammer, coin, and plastic chair. What are soft objects? Soft objects are objects that can be pressed, bent, or squeezed easily. It also changes shape when you push or squeeze. Examples, sponge, pillow, cotton, cushion, foam, and stuffed toy. Rough objects. A rough object has a bumpy or uneven surface. When you touch it, it feels scratchy, gritty, or not smooth. It does not reflect light well and often feels hard or coarse. Examples. Sandpaper, tree bark, coconut shell, brick and lumber. What are smooth objects? A smooth object has a flat and even surface. When you touch it, it feels soft, slippery, or polished, not bumpy or rough. Examples, mirror, ceramic plate, marble, whiteboard, and glass. Shiny objects. A shiny object reflects light. When you shine a flashlight on it, the light bounces back or makes the object glow. Examples. Spoon, pot, floor, plate, DVD, and Christmas balls. Dull objects. A dull object does not reflect much light. When you shine a flashlight on it, the light doesn't bounce or glow. It stays dark. Examples, fabric, chalk, paper towel, paper, and cardboard. Heavy objects. A heavy object is hard to lift because it has a lot of weight. You need more effort or strength to carry or move it. Examples, Washing machine, bucket of water, toolbox, refrigerator, and sack of rice. Light objects. A light object is easy to carry or lift because it has light weight. You can move it without much effort. Examples. Feather, balloon, plastic cup, leaf, and pencil. Flexible and stretchable objects. A flexible object is bendable and can change shape easily. You can fold, twist, or stretch it without breaking. Examples 
rubber band, balloon, horse, plastic straw, and rope. Rigid objects. A rigid object is stiff and does not bend. It keeps its shape even if you try to twist or press it. Examples. Wooden stick, ruler, metal rod, pencil, and tile. So, are you now familiar with the different physical properties of solids? Always remember that physical properties help us describe materials and choose how to use them. Hard and soft describe how a material feels and how we use it. Shiny objects reflect light. Dull ones don't. Some materials have more than one property. This help us choose how to use them. Also keep in your mind that we use hard materials for chairs because hard chairs can hold our weight and do not break easily. If we use soft objects to make chairs, they might sink, bend, or collapse when we sit. We sleep on soft beds because they are comfortable and help us rest and relax. We can eat with a soft spoon because a soft spoon bends and can't hold food properly. Jewelry is shiny because it is made from materials that reflect light, like gold or silver. A chalkboard is dull because its surface is rough and does not reflect light. If you want to tie something, you need something flexible, like rope or string, so you can bend and tie it easily. Now, let's see if you really understand our lesson by answering the activities I prepared for you. Let's begin! Thank you for watching. Please watch, like, and subscribe to get notified about the next lesson. Goodbye!